You're watching the Africa Leadership Dialogues. I'm Judy Gishu. At a glance, she appears like a woman who has it all. But even then, life has not been a smooth sail for Julie. So there was a point where I was living with my shosho in Dagoretti, and things were hard. And I used to bath with a small bucket, not even those big ones. Yani, your water is like this much. <laughs> And you've got to be, you know, and that's a struggle many people go through, I know. But you can decide to go washe and retreat, which a lot of young people do, or to get angry and attack everybody. It's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. Or you can open your eyes, you can visualize that in one year I want a show, I want to be a TV anchor, and people will laugh at you, and you can get there. Yeah. Her hard-working nature landed her in a newsroom in a media house as an intern, and though it was fruitful in the end, it was not short of challenges. And it was 1997. I had just finished my law degree, and I had a few months before I went for my master's. I was trying to go and do my master's. And I, I, I was always the kind of person that I wouldn't do nothing. I would look for something. And I, I went into KTN and tried to get a, a, an internship. And they said, yes, you can start. And I started. And it was tough. And for anybody who's an intern, you know, people don't have time for you. They're not interested. And, you know, you see all these, you know, reporters you've seen on TV. Then the news anchor walks past and you're like a little bit in awe. But nobody has time for you. They're all busy. A comfort zone did not seem to be what she was cut for, and hence the urge to do more than just read news propelled her to venture into different creative works that have aired on TV. My career in the media started, I think, 16, 17 years ago, and um, it's a long time to be in this, in this space. At a certain point, I realized that the media was not giving me what I wanted to see on TV. Amid the challenges that come with being at the top, her family has played an instrumental role in keeping her on the right track. Uh, I have a husband who has fully supported me, and there are times I've probably gone home and said, that's it, I don't want to do this media thing anymore. And he says, no, if, if God created you, and he gave you the ability to do this, then you can do it, and you should do it. As a woman striving to make a difference in the society, she has learned to be patient with herself and look at life from a positive dimension. When you're facing challenges, find the opportunities and leverage the opportunities. When you are facing good times and, and you're going through celebration, be wary of becoming lax and relaxed and feeling like you've arrived. You've never arrived. We are always on a journey of growth and development. So um, that's perhaps what I would say. It's tough. It's a journey. But take both the difficult times and the good times and learn from both so that you can better yourself because the journey never ends until you've taken your last breath. Her reputation precedes her and her work has earned her international accolades and opened doors of opportunity for her. Right now I get calls from all over the world, from the Middle East, from Europe, from the US, come, do a show here, come, host so and so. And it's because of creating something with global standards give a warm welcome to President Barack Hussein Obama and President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. An Afro-optimist at heart, she believes that the future of Africa is bright and that Africa will reclaim its place at the top soon. For Women's World, my name is Ondiro Oganga.